the heart of the San Martin area, Belmapan, just a few feet away from the roadside, the body of 42-year-old Elmer Canto was fished out from a running creek frequented by residents who would go down to the creek side to wash. It created quite a stir on Sunday afternoon as images of Canto's bleeding body quickly made their way onto social media. The question lingers, though, as to how he ended up in the water and why would anyone want to harm him. According to one resident who lives beside the creek, Kanto was not alone. Hours before his body was found, he was in the company of several others by the creek side. It was yesterday, Sunday, around 1, 1 to 1.30 p.m. Actually, I just saw when everyone, everybody was just out here, even police was already out here. Um, the body was laying on the water. That's what I... Uh, that's all what I saw and heard because I didn't hear anything else before that. You told me earlier that your grandmother said that she heard people arguing by the creek. Yes, she, she said um, they were arguing so she came out and told them no arguing because she don't want no fight to occur. So everybody went after that. She said she saw everybody going but she didn't saw what happened. She, she just went back. Because she's not good, um, her sight is not very well, so she was not, wasn't able to see everybody who was here. So when you came out, he was already in the creek? Yes, he was already on the creek. He was laying upside down, he, all his face, everything under the water. Yes, he, his foot, hand was already white. He was all pale already. A police report says he was socializing with a group who was barbecuing down at the creek side and got into a heated argument with Monica Flores over a piece of meat. Manuel Sandoval, who was passing by at the time, attempted to break up the argument and allegedly ended up stabbing Canto to the right side of his chest. Information received is that Elmer Canto was involved in a fight with one Manuel Sandoval who inflicted the fatal stab wound injury to him. The deceased was having a dispute with one Monica Flores and this uh, person Manuel intervened and that is what led to the stabbing. It didn't take long for the news to spread through the neighborhood and Canto's younger brother was the first in the family to learn what had become of his sibling. I met the home one then, then come and, and call me. I never made expect it. They tell me, uh, the neighbors tell me it look like your brother is is over there. I think it's him. So I, I grabbed my bike and I went and see him. And when I reached the police, the police me the right there. They do the investigation and everything. And I went closer and to to recognize him. And it was and it was him. It was him. And I I'm I'm shocked because. I, I'm sad because I didn't take his life um, just like that. Do you know what he was doing by the, the creek? Um, no, because um, the early morning, I didn't I didn't see him. So when I, I wake up, uh, he, he already went out. It's when they come tell me that the, it already happened. So I, 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 I only see him the day. Before, according to the the police, I was not there. But according to the, the police and some of the friends said that it was an argument be, between them and and some some one of one of them and they caught a knife and he, and they stab stab him. So the pol um, from from now the investigation is still go is still going on, but I don't really know and. How it will end? I already went, and the police told me that um, investigation is still going on. So we are just waiting for more information. Police detained Sandoval and found him carrying a knife with an eight-inch blade. He is now being held pending a murder charge. Joe Marie Lanza, Seven News.